Martin in Gothenburg, Sweden writes, I've got a phase button on my integrated amplifier. Actually, it's on the remote, but in any case, it operates on my integrated amplifier. From the display, I see that it toggles between two states when I press the phase button. But I cannot for the life of me figure out what it does, and I don't hear any difference in the sound. Can you please help explain what the phase button does? Yes. It's funny. You know, a lot of us, of course, know what that is. And I would say most people don't have a clue what a phase button is. One of the reasons we don't know is because it's actually mislabeled. It really should be called a polarity button. But let's say that we called it a polarity button. You probably still don't know what that means. <laughs> and it is the absolute polarity between plus and minus on your speakers that's changing, okay? So on the back of the speaker, we've got a red terminal and a black terminal. And we kind of always want to match the, the red of our amplifier through a wire to the red of our speaker. That keeps it in phase or in the proper polarity. And the black goes to the black, right? So what that means is at the beginning of something that is playing in a phase correct or a polarity correct system, when, it op when the initial attack happens of it pushes the driver forward and then it comes back as opposed to if it were out of polarity or out of phase at the first instant that that speaker started moving to make sound it would go back and then forward years ago there was a fellow george i can't remember george's last name but he was called the polarity pundit and interesting guy he you know, would just rail and rave about the importance of polarity and that most people's problems in their system was improper polarity, that a lot of recordings are made out of proper polarity, proper phase, and that button is important to change it. And I am not sure I completely agree with it. I, I understand the, the thinking process and I understand that um, many of us have heard a difference in polarity or phase, but I think we rapidly get used to any difference like that. And, and then over time, if I, here, here, here's an example. One of the things that I do when I talk about whether something has a meaningful change or not, whether it's an amplifier, circuit difference, or whatever we've done, a cable, I should be able to walk into a room and listen to if I know the room and walk into it and go, ah, oh, something's changed. Somebody did something. We got the wrong cable on here. We did this. Somebody's done something and I can hear it. And maybe I haven't been there for a week, but I hear it and I know something has been changed. And then I'll track it down and sure enough, it's been changed. I've made the experiment of having somebody with just the, you know, just, just swap polarity and, and see if I hear it. And, and I don't. I walk into the room. I I couldn't tell you if, if the polarity is in or out. I think I can tell if I push it in or out in a live situation, but that's not enough to make it worth your while. So to sum up, basically that phase switch on the back is swapping the red and the black terminals on your speaker, not literally on your speaker, but that's what's effectively happening like that. So that black goes to red and red goes to black, and then you put it in phase and Red goes to red, black goes to black. And I don't think it's all that important. So, okay. W one last thing. If the left channel's in phase and the right channel's out of phase, you got trouble right here in River City because <laughs> that's called, you know, out of phase, you're gonna have cancellation. So whatever phase or polarity you have, make sure it's the same on the left and the right, which your switch will do, so. All right, thanks for the question. I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.